I'm Lorna Carmen McNeil and I'm an artist and teacher and I'm a founder of Arts Medicine Lab. Arts Medicine Lab aims to provide health and well-being through the arts, um, mentally, emotionally, physically and spiritually. This video and its creative activity is a collaboration between Arts Medicine Lab and Luke Brown Dance. Hi, um, I'm Luke Brown and I'm the artistic director of Luke Brown Dance Company and I create courageous dance theatre that connects people through real and imagined stories. In this video, we will be showing you an approach of how to create art inspired by dance and movement. But first, Luke is going to lead you through a very brief warm-up. Okay, so we can do this warm-up either standing or seated. So for the purpose of this video, I am gonna take a seated position. So all I want you to do is uh, find the edge of your seat. So I am, I'm ho hopefully you can see me here. I'm just taking my, my bottom to the edge of my seat and I'm anchoring my feet through the floor and I'm just taking my hands and resting them on my knees. And all I want us to do is I just want us to start by thinking about breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Not being afraid to really let that sound out. So breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just continue to do this cycle while I just give some extra thoughts. So as we're breathing in, think about your body as a tree trunk. And with each exhale, you're sending the air out through your branches, through your fingers, through your toes. Lovely. And just as we're doing this cycle, think about your toes splaying into the floor like roots of a tree. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Lovely. Let's just hit one more all together. So just breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Lovely. Okay. So let's just take our arms off of our knees and just let them be really heavy down by the side of our legs. And again, you can give your body a little wiggle, shoulders a little wiggle. <laughs> That's it. And now just what I want to do is think about reaching your arms out to the side like the canopy of a tree. Finding your back and we're just reaching as far as we can, imagining you're touching the edges of your space. That's it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then just taking it all the way above the head. You can track it with your focus if you want to. But while we're doing this, never forgetting your breathing cycle. So always breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And now just take your fingers and interlace your fingers. I'm just gonna come closer to the screen so you can see. So we're interlacing our fingers, that's it. And we're taking that up above the head and we're just stretching through the rib cage. So we're just having a little wiggle, stretching through. Always focusing on the breath. Now we're just going to take a lean over to one side. So we're just stretching through the trunk of the tree, our column or our rib cage. And then we're reaching all the way up and we're just going to stretch through the other side. I always imagine when we do things like this, uh, like branches moving through the wind and to the other side. Again, always focus on that breathing and anchoring through your feet. One more, over, and then we're gonna come right back to the top. I'm gonna count back three, two, one, and on zero, we're just gonna drop our arms. Three, two, one, zero. Nice and heavy, and taking the arms all the way up again, interlacing the fingers. Three, two, one, zero, 
really enjoying that weight, the, the, the grounding to earth. And here we go, one more time, reaching all the way up, interlacing the fingers. Three, two, one, zero. Lovely. Okay, last thing, just to get us going, I'm going to come a little bit closer to the camera. And all I want to think about doing is circling your wrists and thinking about our beautiful metatarsals like branches of a tree and seeing if you can move them individually. So as we're circling the wrists, we're taking those fingers like branches of a tree. You might like to wrap your forearms together. So your forearms are creating that trunk and then our hands are the canopy. Beautiful. Keep that going. We're just going to do this for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Just take that really gently. I'm just going to go back to the seated position. Just have a moment, find your hands back on your knees, finding that position that we found ourselves in the beginning, grounded through the feet. Just have 30 seconds just to clear the mind, listen to the beautiful music. You can have your eyes open or you can close your eyes. Again, just as we're counting back, keep that focus of breath. So you're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Open your eyes if you have them closed. Okay, that brings us to the end of our really brief warm up before we get into some painting. Okay, wonderful. So, thank you, Luke. That was great. Uh, what we'd like to do now is uh, I created a headdress that Luke's going to be moving to. The subject of today is the, uh, the element Earth. So, there's the headdress. And we're going to be painting him moving to it. But before we do that, we're going to create, if you like, a background, which will be like a sunset, onto which you will then paint um, Luke moving in a, or in a still position with the headdress. So what I'd like you to do first, I'm going to turn the camera down so you can see my page. I suggest you cover your table in plastic. You need an literary piece of paper. Then a palette or a plate and a minimum of three colors. I suggest it could be watercolor or acrylic. I suggest a cadmium yellow or something like that. A red. And an ultramarine blue. What we're going to do is to create very quickly a wash to fill the whole page which will be behind the tree that we're going to then paint with Luke in the position. So if you then can get some water and a large like painter's brush and just flood the page with water. I'm going to do this relatively quickly now, but if you want to take longer when you do it, it's actually a very meditative, very relaxing process working with water, the water kind of allows you to flow more easily. So it's quite wet. Don't um, put it on so that there's only a little. Make sure that it really flows. Then with your colours, what you can do is just take some red, make it quite watery as well. Maybe a bit of yellow, so you have a nice orange. And then if you put it onto the page, you'll see, because of the water, it just floods down the colour. You don't really need to do very much other than a few stripes and you have a whole lot going on already. It's quite 
quite magical and it's really very relaxing to do it. So then if you have some pink, you can use it as well, but I'm just using three colors for the purpose of showing you here. So here's some blue, you can get a purpley color down as if it's the, the horizon level. So you can spend as long or as little on this as you want to. So I'm going to leave it at that. So you get the idea. And then if you want to, you can even tip it and you get the, the colors flooding. So I'm gonna put that aside. And I will then take, I would suggest you pause your video while you allow that to dry. And here I have one that has dried already. So once you're once you've paused and your your page is dried, then you can put the video back on again. And what we're going to do is we're going to make an instrument um, that comes from a tree to actually do the painting with. So here we have a leaf and we have a twig from a tree. So if you take some masking tape and have some paper tissue or toilet roll by your side because this can get quite messy and just take the leaf onto the twig. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually draw Luke by dipping, and the headdress, by dipping the twig or the leaf side into ink. Okay, I'm going to hold a position for three minutes. As Luke gets into the position, you can use this in many different ways. You can use the side of the leaf to scoop up some ink and to draw with the side of the leaf. So for example, um, you can also use the tip here. There's many ways of doing it and there's no one way. The idea here is not to do try and do a good or accurate drawing. It's more to just enjoy these beautiful colours that it's been painted on and the feeling of, of actually drawing with something that's that's natural and that actually you would normally not you normally see, but you wouldn't draw with it. So this is the tip of the leaf that I'm now using here. And if I want to sort of be a bit more in control, I can use the wood and the, the wood side of the twig. And here we have his arms on the top of the tree, headdress. If you want to, you can just focus on two minutes remaining. like what you're seeing but you might want to just pick out for example here the pattern on the headdress because as you draw it you have these beautiful colors shining through so don't worry really too much about, about how it looks in some of it a bit more if you feel that you'd like to do that. Last 
30 seconds. Last 10 seconds. you can actually hold that longer and you could just redo that and just focus on the headdress or just focus on the body as you like lots of different options thank you so much everyone for watching this create to connect workshop for city arts we really hope you enjoyed yourself and please do take these ideas and these tasks and explore them further Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a, a wonderful project and we really hope that you've enjoyed it and just continue exploring and enjoying nature and seeing how it inspires you to move physically in both the colour and your body into your art. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.